Family Guys here with another Mayhem Minute. And one thing I think we kind of got away from this week, it was big news and I thought it was worth discussing, uh, so maybe we'll have it here on the minute then, is uh, the first year of WWE Network. It was a year ago this week we were experiencing our first WWE uh, NXT arrival. We were experiencing our first, uh, not even Legends House, but our first uh, countdowns, our first everything else, our first, I just watched a Madison Square Garden show from 1981 kind of experience. And, uh, you know, our first go around of that, you know, I, we, you know, our first experience in this way for us to watch wrestling in a different way, uh, how we want, when we want, if I can steal a tag from another tremendous podcast of core killers um and i think it's important to kind of look at uh, you know how that has kind of changed the landscape you know how many of us are on there uh, you know talking about nxt more than anything else how much has that influenced things how much we're we talking about talking about the people on the roster talking about nxt um and how much we're talking about you know these are the people we saw you know that you know locally or in roh and now they're making a splash in the case of the kevin owens and uh sammy Zayn or you know friends of the show like like logan chulo now now uh um uh you know now on there as well getting beat up by rhino a couple weeks ago um oh, rhino another example um and, and and being able to go on there and experience all that and seeing all the WrestleManias, going through all the WrestleManias like I am uh, trying to here uh, in a marathon fashion here leading up to uh, 31 here on, on, on our YouTube channel. Um, and it's different. It's a different way for us to have that, you know. Um, you know, it's more than us just seeking stuff out on YouTube. That's out there too. But we can, you know... The experience is is much much better, and it's been there's been so many hiccups, and there's been everything else. But a year in, um, I think a lot of that's been solved. You know, uh, I know I still get stutters and everything, but I know it's something with my own network, for instance. Um, and I think that, that that's that's the case. I think a lot of people saying, "Oh, it stutters and it does this." I'm like, ah, how, "How's your network? How is your internet?" You know, some of us are paired with uh, pretty bad routers or, or something like that, and and that that tends to that tends to do it. Like I'm noticing. The thing that I watch the WWE Network, the Fire TV, is not um, not smooth on on some of the apps like Hulu that work just fine on my Chromecast, for instance. But aside from that, but uh, you know, looking at this, you know, it, it's the thing for me now. No, maybe maybe everybody's different, but for me, I'm a cord cutter, and it's you know, I'm the primary, well, one of the primaries in the house, you know. So you know. It's easy to turn that on and just have the stream going, you know, much like if we turned on, you know, Fox News, there's going to be always news on. There's always some wrestling on or I guess reality programming in this case. Um, but still, you know, this is something we didn't have a year ago. And uh, and it's really kind of changed how how I watch wrestling. Right. I watch a lot more history of WWE now than I used to. That's for sure. Um, and it's been interesting to see how they've been leveraging that. With the Stone Cold podcast interviews, with the breaking news they've had, you know, when when something has come up, come come up, which has been, uh, you know, kind of hit or miss, as we discussed. Why did we do a Skype call on a laptop from from the site of WrestleMania 32 in Dallas? That, that was very very weird. When he, WWE should have access to so much more than that. Um, the ways they've used the studio in Stanford, uh, you know, which you know we you saw on, on the Raw Snowden episode, um, but also we've seen for pre-shows and post-shows which have kind of faded away a little bit um in some regard you know i don't think smackdown does them anymore perhaps uh but uh you know in and in, in the specials that they've had you know the, the the live tweet uh ecw live special they had with uh paul Heyman and joey styles let me know what do you think a year in ww network has it lived up to the promise for one thing have you been? Have you had it this whole time? Did you give up on it, and why? Let me know uh, in the comments here on YouTube or wherever else you found this video, or uh, if you're on the audio audio version or anything like that. Hit us up at Mayhem Show on the Twitter, and I'm at Sorgatron on the Twitter. And check out all we have so much stuff going on right now at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. It's incredible. Like the entire front page is less than a week of stuff. We have so much going on. Uh, so you get your wrestling fix with us. WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Also check out um, uh, PittsburghWrestling.com and IndieWrestling.us for some awesome, awesome shows. And a lot of them kind of cheap. Like there's some really good shows there for like five bucks if you dig into some of the catalog for IWC and RWA. And uh, new releases from Prime Cuts, Johnny Gargano, guys like that. Uh, We'll see you guys next time.
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.